Hello, I'm Neil. I hope this video helps. I'm standing in a weird position at the moment because I've got two cameras. Uh, I absolutely love vlogging with the DJI Osmo Pocket and so I thought I'd make a video to see how the different microphones that you could plug in work and sound with the Osmo Pocket. This is the built-in microphone for the Osmo Pocket that you're listening to right now. I'm trying to talk a lot so that you can get a sense of what it sounds like. But I've also got the uh, Osmo Pocket in a Polar Pro cage. If I just go to the other camera there for a second. Um, which is has been really helpful. But I'm just going to handhold it uh, now. Mainly because the uh, mic adapter that I'll show you in a minute uh, that can clash with some tripod situations. Uh, the way I've got around it is with a Polar Pro grip. I can show you how that works. Just put this into the cage like that. And because the grip cage has two tripod mounts, I've mounted it on the phone side. That's the grip that I usually use for, for walking around. I've got it on top of a tripod. Let's see how it sounds indoors. So here we are indoors. This is how the DJI Osmo Pocket sounds without any external microphone plugged in. In a, a room, a small room, it's very wooden with a lot of hard surfaces. What I wanted to do was to give you a full sense of how the Osmo Pocket sounds straight out of the box. And I also wanted to give you enough time to hear what it sounds like with each of the microphones. So firstly, if you don't have an Osmo Pocket already, and maybe you're watching this video just to see how the Osmo Pocket sounds, firstly, you'll need one of these, which is a DJI mic adapter for the Osmo Pocket. It's about £35 here in the UK. There are links to all of this in the description. But what I wanted to show you was how these other microphones sound. These are other microphones that I use and I, I love them. Each has their own advantages and drawbacks. The first I'm going to show you is the Edutage ETM001. This is a, a absolutely tiny microphone it's about the size of a 3.5 millimeter jack i'll show you the saramonic sr xm1 now i've used this loads on my gopro hero 5 and what i love about it is that it's like a mini shotgun mic but it also can be bent <laughs> it can be turned in the direction that you want it to point so that's a great one and you won't recognize this because it will be wearing this which is a Comica dead kitten or a mini dead cat and it stops wind noise. So that will be under that. And finally, this clip-on Lavalier mic, the Boyer BYM1, which comes with a battery and a cable, but oh, it sounds really good. Now the next microphone I'm gonna show you is the Edu... <laughs> no one I know can say this properly. It's the Edutage ETM. 001 because it it just sort of points wherever it plugs in obviously if i just plugged it straight into the mic adapter it would just uh, point downwards to the uh to the floor which i don't really want so i've got this l-shaped jack just to sort of point it in the right direction now it's not a directional microphone i'll talk about that in a second so i'm going to plug it in like this there we go so let's flip the Osmo pocket round. So I've got the Edutage ETM001 plugged in and I've got it on this L-shaped 3.5 millimeter jack uh, adapter. And this is how it sounds. The, the problem I've got with the Edutage, so I'm holding the camera too close. Now the problem I've got with the Edutage, I love it because it's small and it's just so easy to just plug and go. But the slight problem I've got with it is that it's omnidirectional, which means I think it sort of picks up everything, even my footsteps. Uh, maybe I should do some walking with it. I could do some walking later, but this is what it sounds like outdoors. This is how it sounds, just plug straight into the D 
DJI Osmo Pocket. I haven't got any um, custom audio settings. It's all on auto. And this is what the ETM-001 sounds like. I think I've got someone behind me being audio bombed. <laughs> so we're back indoors with the Edutage ETM-001 and I haven't got the L-shaped adapter on. So the microphone is just pointing straight down towards my desk at the moment. But this is how it sounds indoors in a small room environment. I'm about arm's length away from the camera what you've probably noticed already, I've not treated any of the audio in this video. This is exactly as it comes out of the camera. I've not increased or decreased the level in the edit. What I love about the Adutage ETM-001 is that it sounds louder, it sounds beefier, but because it's omnidirectional, it picks up everything around it. So there's an upside and a downside to it. I love its size. I, <laughs> I love it. It's just... Just a little stub, it's fantastic. Now the next microphone that you're hearing, the next external microphone that I'm trying out on my DJI Osmo Pocket, I'm speaking quite quietly as well, because it's a quiet day. Um, this next one is the Saramonic SRXM1. Let's get a close up here. Now you can't really see it very well because I've got it, <laughs> I've got it underneath a dead kitten or a dead cat's windshield has to stop the the wind noise uh, but this is what it looked like when it came out of the box and what I love about this is that it's it, it looks like a, a mini shotgun mic uh, but it's still small so it's still easy to carry around with you and use unobtrusively <laughs> and then I put this massive windshield on <laughs> but the the big thing the second big thing that I love about this is that you can point it wherever you want it to go. And you can bend it a full 180 degrees each way. I'm touching it now, you probably hear that. So I'm just going to be quiet for a moment. There's a bit of wind going on. But this is a really small, I think of all the setups, this is probably my favourite because you can just hold it really easily. You can hold the Osmo Pocket. So that's the Saramonic SRXM1 into an Osmo Pocket outdoors. Let's see what it's like indoors. And you've probably noticed already that I find the audio from this, although it's directional, so you can point it more towards your your face. I was going to try and say the word face and voice at the same time there. That wasn't going to work. <laughs> I find the audio level is much lower than my other microphones. And that can be a little bit irritating, having to bump it up in the edit all the time. But I love its portability. I love that you can point it in the direction you want it to. You can swing it round if you're behind the camera or in front of the camera. I'm not a big fan of those big road shotgun microphones. I, I find them a bit like they draw attention to themselves when I'm filming out on the streets, which I prefer not to do. But this is the Saramonic SR-XM1. And finally, this I think is my favorite of uh, the microphone options. This is the Boyer BYM1. Uh, this is what it looks like coming out of the box. I actually bought this for my GoPro Hero 5. I absolutely love using it. Um, I think it's probably the warmest sounding. Uh, just because it, you're just putting the microphone closer to where you're speaking, I think that sounds the best. Obviously it's not very mobile but the upside is how it sounds. I think it sounds great. So we're back indoors again with the Boya BY-M1. I've got the cable running straight into my DJI Osmo Pocket. I've just checked that I've switched it on. And because it has a battery, I, had, I kept forgetting to turn it off. So I've got this little memory device to, to switch off the battery so it doesn't run down between recordings. This is how it sounds indoors. And what do you think so far? Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm sure someone will be able to help you. 
Also in the description, I've put links to all of these microphones, but this is how the Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier microphone sounds in a small room indoors. And now we're back outside again, just to give you a quick whip through the three microphones one last time. This is how the DJI Osmo Pocket sounds with no microphone in at all. And this is how the Edutage ETM-001 sounds with an L-shaped adapter so that it's pointing towards me and a Comica Dead Cat wind muff, uh, which I've put in the description if uh, you wanted to take a look at those. This is how the Saramonic SRXM one sounds. There's a really quite a big breeze is uh, whipped up. <laughs> what does a breeze do? It just happens, doesn't it? But there's uh, quite a wind here and it's not coming from me. And finally, this is the Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier lapel mic with a Comica windshield uh, dead muff, dead muff, <laughs> dead cat, mini dead cat wind muff like the other three microphones have. How do these sound for you? So there you go, those are your options for some external microphones that you can plug straight into your DJI Osmo Pocket if you have the slightly pricey DJI Osmo Pocket mic adapter. I think it's really worth it because the built-in microphone is fantastic and I've recorded so much out on the hoof, on the streets. The sound has been phenomenal, but it does sound a bit rubbish if it's if you're in a windy situation, although uh, <laughs> we're not supposed to take this out into weatherproof situations, but I did in this video. You can see this uh, bit of... Uh rain on there. You might be screaming at the screen right now to tell me to get it in and get it dry. And you can click on the eye at the top of the screen to, to see my full DJI Osmo Pocket in a storm test. I just wanted to say that, that all of these microphones have uh, strengths and weaknesses and it does help to have an external microphone. Because I keep putting my thumb over the built-in mics, it is distracting if there is even the smallest bit of wind. But of all of these options, I think my favorite is the one I'm wearing now. It's the Boyer, I've got this on hand, ready. It's the Boyer BY-M1. When I'm outdoors, the cord is a bit of a faff. But I just like having the microphone closer to my voice. I think the, the sound is warmer and I think I, I just feel more present <laughs> in the videos. Anyway, what do you think? Do you have a favourite? Do, do any of these work for you? Do you just want to say hi? Leave a comment below. It'd be lovely to hear from you and to hear what you think, which ones you prefer. Maybe you already have a DJI Osmo Pocket and you already have your favourite go-to microphone. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear some more of your stories and your uh, tips and tricks with external microphones for the Osmo Pocket. My goodness, I hope letting the clips run long has helped you in some way if you have reached this point in the video why not let me know someone reach this point of the video by clicking the thumbs up be, that will really <laughs> make my day and uh surprise me a little frankly if you're feeling even kinder why not hit the subscribe button you never have to watch any of my videos again but every subscription helps me to keep going with this so thank you good luck with your audio adventures on your dji osmo pocket thanks for watching can you please help my daddy get 1000 subscribers just click on his face thanks bye how was that